new on it's on. Hello guys, today I'll be showing you a little bit, or telling you a bit of my history with iPods. I've owned three, but the third one is still unknown to me, because it didn't really work. It wouldn't turn on, it would charge, but it wouldn't just, it would just stay on the Apple logo, so I'm not naming that one. And the third one, the second one that I had, uh, the only way I would turn it on was by, um, Charging it, and that's the only way it will turn on. I'm only, I'm only allowing the iPods that I use that I know the music that was in it, and I don't know the music that was in the iPod Classic, the one that is unknown to me right now. But I'm gonna tell you a little bit of the two other iPods that are classified to uh, the iPods that I actually did own. These are the iPods that I actually did own. These iPods, um, fifth generation. Fifth generation right here, and and mini uh, iPod mini second gen nano, and um, these should turn on except this one because it only turns on while it's charging. So I will go ahead and turn that on. As you can see it is turning on. What the hell? It's not even on. So I have no music in this one. I'm trying to. Be, I'm trying to put music on this one, but it won't put music on this one because for some reason the files are like damaged real badly. Let's see if I can get this to turn on. See, as you can tell, it has very uh, low battery. But the other one that I had had more low battery than this one had low battery. Now this one, for some reason, just started right as I was turning this on. Um, just started, it just started turning on by itself. And um, it's unusual because this was on the orange side. So. Take a quick Jeffy. He cannot shoot. Wow. Yeah. Those are the iPods that I think are these are the iPods that are classified since they do work. But this one works while it's charging. This one does not this works properly. But the one that I'm telling you about that didn't work properly was an iPod classic fifth generation. That one only turned didn't really turn on. It just showed the Apple logo. It was very, very, very low on battery. Unlike the Mini, which was not that low on battery, it just won't seem to turn on. I try, well, it turns on. It just whenever I try to play music, like it takes only like five seconds for it to say that it has low battery when I just already charged it. Um, and the reason of that is that the battery, I believe, is the problem. I need to get the battery flick fixed. Once I get the battery fixed, I'm gonna give. A, I'm gonna take the iPod Nano fifth generation, the one that is right here, and I am going to give it back. This one I'm gonna give back to my dad's girlfriend. This is not mine. Someone gave it to me, but I don't want it. I'm gonna use the fifth, the mini second gen. Um, as I'm trying to figure out some places that do fix the battery or replace the battery without trying to damage any other of the tech, technical you know, technical things inside of the iPod. But uh, hopefully I can get that fixed and I'll update you on that. Once I get it updated, I will um, have this one uh, take all the music that I didn't like in this iPod and replace it with my music that I enjoy playing and, and listening to. And then I'll be ready and have my own portable empathy player ready to go. The first empathy player that I did have was an, uh, an Eclipse 180 Pro. Now that I didn't use because since I didn't really like Eclipses, they just suck. And then there's one unknown that I didn't really use. I did turn on, but I'm not counting that one on because I couldn't really put music into that one. And I was able to put music in the first one, so 
the two unknown MP3 players are the Eclipse. The one that the the Eclipse. I don't know which one, but it has a clip on it, and it, it's touchscreen too. Yeah, I think it's touchscreen as well. Um, I'm not sure if it's touchscreen. I remember I did think it was touchscreen, but that was unknown. So I didn't have any music in it, and I was trying to get music in it, but uh, couldn't do it. Didn't want to, and uh, I will be deleting every classified MP3 player that I owned ever because I don't want to remember any of the MP3 players that I owned that really sucked, and I just just don't want to remember any of them, so I will delete that and erase it from my mind if I can try to. Anyways, yeah, too unknown, and uh, you can see I'm watching this cool movie. So if I'm going around in circles. Anyways, yeah, these are the two iPods that I classified that I have used like 10 times probably. Like, more than 10 times, because these are really good empathy players. Anyways, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoy. And this is the video I would like to call the history of the iPods that I've used. Thank you very much. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload videos. Sorry, I haven't put in, been uploading videos lately, because I've been busy with school and other things like that. So, yeah, that was the video, and peace.